you know, and especially um, if you lost, now you found. So like, comment, share, and subscribe right now. Cause I'm your plug, and I'm about to put you on to Adrian's cooking and food review, baby. He'll give you the recipes, he'll have you down on one knee over his food. Adrian's cooking and food review, he'll give you the recipes, he'll have you down on one knee. Oh, baby! Adrian's cooking and food review, baby. Mm hmm. You know how to use those spices too, baby. Mm -hmm. You ever had real Jamaican food? Some oxtails? You have. From where? California. Napa Valley. Child, please. He'll give you the recipes. He'll have you down on one knee over his food. Adrian's cooking and food for you. He'll give you the recipes. He'll have you down on one knee. Oh, baby. Adrian's cooking and food for you, baby. Come on in, baby. And make sure you tell a friend. Okay. <laughs> hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So today, 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 we're going to be making fried codfish sandwich with a honey mango slaw and sweet potato fries homemade sweet potato fries so for batter we're going to be using the andes golden fish batter i've tried this before it's really delicious we're going to get some cabbage and carrot shredded and then we're going to pour a little bit of that spicy mango um, sauce on there with a little bit of honey for a little sweet spice kick we're going to be making spicy mayo mayo hot sauce that's all we need and then we have our whole wheat buns right there that we're gonna toast up. So as you know, I like to season everything to maximum flavor. So we're gonna rinse our codfish off in a little bit of lemon juice, and we'll be right back to season that up, and we're gonna get this all started. All right, so I'll see you guys in just a moment. Don't click off the video just yet. All right, guys, so now we're gonna be seasoning our fish. We're gonna go in with some black pepper, all right? You all know I like the spice. Bring on the spice. You're gonna go in with some Badia Complete Seasoning. You know I love that seasoning so much. And we're gonna go in with a little bit of paprika. That's our batter that we already mix up. It's very simple, you just gotta follow the ingredients. I mean the instructions on the packet. And all it says is to just mix it with some water. And I'm gonna be doing this a little bit different. We're gonna go in with our ground jerk seasoning. You know, I like the little kick. So I don't even have to show you how to mix up that batter. Ooh, there goes my knife on the floor. But you know what? It happens. So what you wanna do, you wanna just go in, mix up your cod and your seasoning. So on. Then our batter now, I'm just gonna pour it over the fish. And let it sit there for a little bit and kind of coat it together. And then we're gonna move over to the stove. So I'll see you in just All a right, few. So we have our fish sitting in the batter. As you can see, you're gonna see that recipe in the codfish recipe that we did with that um, cauliflower rice. So if you wanna see how we made this mango, spicy mango sauce, you can check that out. So we're gonna go in with a, probably about two tablespoons. And then we're gonna go in with about one teaspoon of honey. And that's pretty much how we're gonna be making this slaw. We're gonna fold it all in and that's it. All right, so we're gonna try on medium heat. So what we did with our cod is that after we dip it in our batter, then we did dust the outside with a little bit of additional batter. So we're gonna fry these for about seven minutes. 
So I'll see you guys in just a few. I'm sitting here for a few minutes. Just look at that beautiful color. Then it start to develop. Mm. Just look at that. So we're almost done with our fish. We have them in there for another two minutes. And then I'll see you where we're gonna drop in our sweet potato fry. All right, so we're gonna be taking out our cod now and putting them on a rack. Oh. These are so tiny. Look at the beautiful color. Now we're gonna go in with our sweet potato fries. We're gonna turn the heat up now and let these fry up for about seven, 10 minutes. So I'll see you in just a minute. We're gonna be assembling our sandwiches. So as I said, for the mayo, all we did was mayo and hot sauce. So let's put on our mayo, spicy mayo on. We're gonna leave the rest for our sweet potato fries. We have a little bit left. We're gonna go on with our delicious cod. Mm. Just look at that, guys. Wow. And we're gonna go on with our slaw, our spicy honey mango slaw, put that on. You can see the honey and all of those are just in there. Mm. All right, so I'll see you guys in the mukbang. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So today, as you can see, we made a Andy's fried cod fish sandwich with a spicy mango honey slaw with some homemade sweet potato fries and we have some spicy mayo on there. We're gonna be drinking some water today and today we're just gonna be talking about how important it is for you to be on time. I know things do happen, but being on time is very important. Back then, now, tomorrow, 10 years from now, it's gonna be very important. So we're gonna go ahead and pray, get in our thumbnail, and then we're gonna talk about this just a little bit. All right? Most righteous and eternal Father, as we come before in your presence, we hope that you bless this food, bless the hands that prepare, let it be of nourishment to my body. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen, amen, amen. All right, so you know what? We're gonna go and get our thumbnail. Let me get rid of this water. This water. You know, it's a water in Patwa water. All right, there we go. There we go. All right, so you know, quite often um, we as people, let me dip my sweet potato fries in my spicy mayo, take a bar. Quite often we as people, mm, these sweet potato fries are perfect. We as people, we forget that time is very important. You know, take a bite. Let's do another thumbnail. Let me get some sweet potato flour. Is that why you to see? So sometimes we forget that time is very important. And you know, that's why I try to keep up to my schedule. Sometimes it's hard. I always forget to put my phone on airplane mode. But look at that salmon. Yeah, so what I'm saying is that
sometimes you're gonna miss opportunities because you're not on time. Um, people are gonna get mad and say you could have waited on them for another man or two. But quite often you hear people say time is money. Mm. And that is facts. You know, especially, um, I talk about this recently where parents influence their kids in a lot of things. And I feel like parents are just guardians or whoever, um, older folks that people look up to for inspiration, you got to set the right example. You know, quite often you'll see people run in to catch the school bus for their child to go to school. Or it'd be like, you can't go today because you woke up late. Now, mm. Mm -mm -mm. I remember when I was going to high school. I used to go to high school an hour away from where I live. And every morning, my mom used to make sure that I wake up on time. Now, going to school as a in Jamaica and trying to get public transportation sometimes can be very difficult. Mm. And I know you're going to say, why is that? But especially as a child going to school, you got to make sure that you're up early because what happened is that in Jamaica, taxi fare is standard. And if you're a child in school uniform, you pay half of the fare. Now these bus drivers, because the adults are gonna pay double the amount they're going to only carry one row of school kids. We have some bus who carry all school kids because they stack them in the bus. But the average bus driver ain't going to carry you. They're going to do one row and you're going to be on the back seat. So my mom had to make sure that I was on time for school every morning. Mm. And you know, sometimes you may oversleep, and then you go to the bus station trying to get to school in your peak hour, and you're late. You know what? Our school principal would do let us stay outside in the sun for two whole sessions. So oh, almost two hours standing with your book open studying. So they were teaching us life lessons and life skills that you got to be on time. Mm. Guys, this sandwich is so good. Um, the slaw, it has a nice little kick. And the, the fish has a nice little sweetness from that batter. The and this batter for your fish is really delicious. Mm. Mm. You see, I'm almost done. <laughs> That's how good this is, but. You know, 
you'll have people who tell you, I'll meet you in five minutes. That time they're at home getting ready. Now, you know, if you're that type of person, and I realize that's who you are, I ain't going nowhere with you. You have sometimes when you go out too, and they're like, meet me there. You go there, you sit the whole two hours. You got to order drinks. Probably order some an appetizer to eat waiting on this person. I ain't doing that either. I'm going to be like, if I got to meet you there, you pick me up. Because I ain't meeting you nowhere. Because when I get there and you ain't there, I'm going to get mad and just leave. Mm -mm. I don't play those games. Now... I remember recently, I went to Jamaica, and, you know, I was supposed to meet up with some family members, and if I didn't plan on going before, I wouldn't go again, because I, re I should have remembered that I was in Jamaica, and Caribbean time is different from other parts of the world, but it's very important for you to respect people's time. Because you can lose a lot of opportunities from that. Just imagine you go on a job interview and you're late. Your boss is gonna look at you sideways and be like, hmm. Is this all you're going to be on the job when I hire you? You will miss an opportunity to get a job. Now, I see I already cleaned the plate. I don't want to sit here and waste your time. So, I'm going to sing a line of a song or two, and then we're going to close this out. I just want to say I appreciate everybody for always coming over here. And just listening, be motivated, who enjoy the content. Whew. That burp. Mm -mm -mm. But yeah. Mm. Let's see what I got. If I should stay. I will only step up the way And I won't memory See, I don't even know the words of the song I will <laughs> oh. What a natural beauty I need no makeup to be a cutie she is a queen. She is a queen. Mm, mm. What a natural beauty. I need the makeup to be a cutie. She is a queen. So supreme. When you ask what a good man's made of, she's not afraid and ashamed of who she is. She is wrong, yeah, yeah. So royal, and I want her in my life. That's from Taurus Riley. She's royal. Check out the song. The song bad. So, guys, I want to thank you so much for watching. If you like the content and you've been here before, you still haven't hit that subscribe button. What are you waiting for? Go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Turn on your notification bell so that you don't miss a brand new upload. And as I always say, share with your friends, share with your family, share with your neighbors, share with everybody. Don't be selfish. They want to be a part of this fun and personality. Don't click out the video just yet because you want to be serenaded by the one and only Silas Mukbang. Guys, I want to say thank you so much. See y'all later.